see if you can see this on video. This guy has a little limp back here and on his left wing, there's a little bit of blood. I don't know if you can see that. He's right at the front there. Yeah, see, that guy just pecked at him right there. Hey everybody, so it's been a day or two since we let the ducklings out with our other ducks. Um, that was going great, but there's a new problem going on. I walked out today to get more water for the ducklings and I noticed there was blood on their pine chips and that is a bad sign. Uh, the second time we incubated ducklings, it was about this time when they're growing in all their feathers that we noticed blood on their blood feathers. Um, there are these thick feathers at the end of their wings that they start growing in and unfortunately the problem is occurring again. All right, so now I'm just sitting outside and I'm watching them. Uh, there's a lot of ducks out here, so it's going to be hard to keep track of who's doing the pecking. I think what I'm going to do is take the peckers and put them in the extra stock tank. So now I just have to figure out who it is. Well, it's been two to three days now since we separated the ducks that were pecking the other ducklings. Everybody's bleeding has stopped. Their blood feathers have grown back. It takes about two to three days for that to happen. So they should be all good to go at this point. Um, hopefully the ducks have got it out of their system and we can rejoin them. And that's what we are doing today. So we had to separate four of them. We don't like doing that, but we definitely wanted to look out for the safety of the other ducklings that were being affected. Uh, if a duck has a broken blood feather, they can bleed out because ducks do not have a lot of blood to lose. So you really have to keep an eye on that. In the future, I was going to do this again, which I advise if you're going to do this and have any ducklings, prepare around the one month mark. This is about when it starts happening, when they start growing in those blood feathers. Uh, watch out for bleeding, watch out for pecking, make sure they're not overcrowded and keep some styptic powder on hand. There's cornstarch as well as well as just flour, you could use in a pinch if you need to. But we are going to combine them and we're gonna see how they do. Hopefully they get along. Uh, we'll see. Okay, all of our ducks are incorporated again. There was no bleeding. We are going to keep an eye on them. And at the end of this video here in a sec, we will let you know if this worked. So these ducks have been together for a while now. We don't see any more pecking, no more blood. They all seem to be getting along. Um, if you guys do this and they start pecking again, which hopefully ours don't, we'll see. But if they do, just rinse and repeat. So separate, wait a couple days and go again. Uh, we're gonna be coming out with a video on a chicken tractor by John Suskovich. Suskovich? John Sus yeah, Suskovich? I'm not sure how to say it, but it sounds right. Okay. So John Suskovic, he has this chicken tractor and we are attempting to do that with a couple mods, modifications. And we are going to need that chicken tractor because we have 30 broiler chickens coming, Cornish crosses. So we are going to need to put them down in our pasture in that. We've added some anti-dig, some other measures against predators, and we'll see how that goes. But that's an exciting journey coming up here soon. Thank you all for joining us in this video. We hope to hear from you. Uh, wish us luck in our duck journey. Thank just... you guys again. Bye. What is this? <gasps> you left another egg, Lulu. Lulu, you left us another egg. Oh, 
Look at that, Lulu, that is beautiful. Beautiful as always. 